there's two great stories in our traditions. There is Chicken Little, and there is um, uh, the boy who cried wolf. Yes. What happened to Chicken Little? Did the sky actually fall down? I yeah, think, I think the it sky does. did fall down. Yeah, is in that the, movie, it's like, it's like like a the same story? Like the kids yes. like wolf, and they're like, nah, there's no wolf. He's like, there's a wolf. Like, oh, there's a wolf. No, there's no wolf. And then he's like, okay, now there's actually a wolf. Like, get out of here, kid. And then the chicken little was, wasn't it? The chicken was like, the sky's falling, and they're like, shut up. And then he said it again, and they shut up, and then finally it fell, and no one believed him or something. Yep. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. All I'm I know Googling is. Googling the plot to chicken little right now. <laughs> when Hamas uh, uh, runs this narrative, Israel blew up a hospital. A press conference is given where they're like, Israel warned the hospital they were going to do it. And then you get all these leftists screaming that Israel did it. And then we're like, wow, I mean, you know, we in good faith want to understand who did this. Oh. Sure. And then it turns out nobody did it. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, it, it appears that a Hamas rocket misfired. The payload landed in the parking lot and created a big fire. The hospital is intact. Hundreds of civilians did not die. They lied again. These people lie all the time. So when they come out and they're like, Israel's doing evil things, I go, shut your Miles, dude, I am so sick of you lying to me to get me to support war or hundreds of millions of our dollars being sent to Gaza. At this point, I'm just like, bro, I don't care. I want nothing to do with it. I'm just tired of being lied to by everybody. Mm -hmm. This is what they do. Rashida Tlaib immediately comes out and claims that Israel blew up a hospital and people believe it. And then the facts come out a day later. And that's, of course, oh, I mean, the, it's, it's, it's considerable damage in the parking lot. There's no crater. Sure. That's the cars were on fire. That's it. Do they really even need to exaggerate? Isn't there enough chaos and suffering I, it's all going lies. on over there? All of it is lies. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm at, I'm at the point like they show me these videos and I'm like, gee, did an earthquake happen? Because they have lied so much. I am done listening to them. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm just, I'm, the, the hospital thing was so infuriating because I see, you know, like Luke Rutkowski posts, why are my tax dollars going to hitting hospitals? Because the initial assumption, the Wall Street Journal runs this headline story that, you know, a uh, uh, blast blows up hospital or whatever. And then it turns out it's like, oh, wait, here's 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 video of a rocket misfire. And then we wake up in the morning and there's footage. And it's like, oh, the parking lot was on fire. And they, just they claimed hundreds died, but it's not true. But that story is already out there. I mean, you pointed out that yep. the Washington Post put it in their print edition. So Wall Street are, Journal. Wall Street Journal. So Front there page. are tons of people who are now always yeah. going to be able to have the image yep. of this headline. And that's ultimately what I think this is the objective is anyways. They, it's not to get truth out there. It's to whip you into a frenzy to support the cause, which is, you know, one of the grossest parts of politics in any country, but definitely in America. And way worse now in the, like, with as, yep. with war being as, in the information around war being as immediate as it is, mm -hmm. you just, you just leak the story, you put the story out there, and yeah, sure, maybe 5 to 10, 20% end up reading the retraction or see the follow-up headline, but that's a large amount of people, a vast number who will never know that right. that's not what happened here. And even if you do print a retraction, I mean, the thing about war reporting is that it's all happening so fast fast it's yeah. very difficult to verify which means that as the consumer of it you should be very uh careful about what you're seeing and what is being told to you but people don't do that and so by the time you know the wall street journal says oh maybe we got it wrong actually seven mm -hmm. other things have happened that they've reported on so it doesn't really matter that Just never gets fully corrected. yeah